I actually read a story on working conditions in the garment industry in Los Angeles. Uh, it talked about some of the deplorable conditions in some of the factories in downtown LA, and I was pretty uh, struck by what I read, so I approached the Garment Worker Center, which uh, had just opened in Los Angeles. And initially, I was intending to do a, just uh, a little film about these working conditions. And as I started spending time with the women, and I started seeing um, their humor, um, their depth also, um, I started realizing that it was actually a much bigger story, that it was a story about them. Making a documentary was an amazing way to tell the story because it's so personal. So really, a lot of people have read uh, statistics or have seen news reports about uh, issues of millions of immigrant workers who are here in the United States. But very few people have had a chance to stand in one of those workers' shoes or to experience what their daily life might be like, to experience how do you balance uh, family life, what if you have four children, or what if you have children who you're supporting back in your home country. So I think a documentary has the unique power to let you experience someone else's life just for, in this case, 70 minutes. The film has started to be as a film about uh, low-wage work and immigrants working in these low-wage seasonal contingent jobs, um, struggling for an opportunity, really, uh, in this country. Um, but as it evolved, it became it, all those things are still there. It's still a film about that, but it became more a film about the power of unity, the power of coming together, um, and uh, and the power of really uh, finding your voice. You know what happens when you start to understand your rights and you claim your rights wherever you are in school, at work, at home, and that starts shaping who you are as a person to start shaping your identity. Ultimately, the retailer's decision about what the price is going to be in the mall that you or I might go to has waves of impact back down the chain. And you can have lots of, um, I mean, you can really put pressure on the factories where people are working, but if the price doesn't change at the front end, at the retail end, then you're never going to address the bigger systemic issue. And of course the next step is all of our own responsibility as consumers because each of us can choose to go to a store and pay a certain price for something and that has an impact and we can't always make a different choice but at least the first step is understanding that our choices do have an impact. When we finished the film before any big audience saw it, we showed it to the women, to each of them individually. And their response was incredibly moving. They felt incredibly honored. They felt that we had portrayed their stories in an accurate way and in a very beautiful way. And so, in a way, knowing that we had honored their journey was, for me, for both of us, the greatest satisfaction.